those poor ghosts are attacking. The lumberjacks will have to. Oh no 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 no! Let's try and kill them. Actually, there are five. Maybe there are too many. Maybe they are not. We shall see. And the blood one, of course, is gone now. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Northgard. We're continuing with our conquest game mode as the Clan of the Lion. In this episode, we're going to play the Swamps of Death. There will be more zones with swamp, and all the zones have reduced available room for buildings. Our victory conditions are basically everything, we can do whatever we want. We're going to be only three clans in total, one clan of the Raven and the other one is the Kraken. And for the bonuses we're going to pick the champion's weapon cost to cost us nothing. Because we already have the Fantasins ones and I said why not, let's just have two out of the three up upgrades that we can make for free. Now for this specific mission I have to be honest I don't think that it's going to be a really interesting mission since well having less building slots than normal doesn't really affect the clan of the lion because what this clan cares about is the livability and not how many buildings you have in one specific zone. It is going to be really difficult for the viking clans of course because the buildings have their own worker slots, but for the clan of the lion, this is not the case. You can have 8 people working in the farms, for example, it doesn't matter. That being said, let's start the mission. We can already see the deer right here. I don't think there are going to be wolves in the same zone. No, there aren't. Yes, there is, there is one wolf actually, but it is something that we can take care of with our single champion. Finally, we can use him properly. Compared to the previous one. As you can see, we have up to four people working there, so... Not a big difference for us. So we're in the first winter, what we have done basically is occupy the three zones neighboring our town hall. The idea is to first mine everything that there is there, like here the iron is already finished. In order to have the second slot for free. Oh no. Yeah, there are some attacks. But it's not that serious. Yeah, you have to go back and heal as uh, well as you do. Let's get the leadership actually. Because we can already bring Hildegard right here. Yeah, we have found Mir Kalfar here and also the Kobolds. This is actually a problem. Not a great one, however. The idea is to destroy this Pathfinder Pavilion a little bit maybe in one year in uh, the game and replace it with the anchorage Agar actually can we even do it right now maybe we can yeah we can do it right now because we need the money right and afterwards we're going to mine this stone and this stone as well in order to upgrade our foraging posts, build a beer tavern right here, increase the livability of the adjacent zones and eventually build a monastery. In this manner we are going to be able to do whatever we want actually. We can either win by conquest or we can win by, well, lore. Of course for now we are on zero food and on 12 population out of 12 we can do nothing. But as you can see we are already burning through the lore. Yeah, 
this object is on full HP. The problem is that we are basically using villagers in order to gather our food, so during the winter we are having serious trouble. Yeah, we're going to farm these wolves, of course, for their faith. And the cobbles as well. There's no reason for us not to do it. You see, now we're going to 37. Yep. To get some HP back. So our quarry is ready. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Our lava build is not that great, but since we're doing this to just get rid of it, we will have everyone work on it. Almost everyone. But yeah, this mission is just basically trying to manage your building slots. It's not that much of a different, let's say, gameplay than the normal single player. That's why I do believe that it's not like the previous ones that you have to protect the giants and befriend them simultaneously. It's something much more simpler. Although I don't think sim much more simpler exists. It's much more simple. Yeah. <laughs> Thermicalfer, after we kill this guy, I think that we are going to get some lore for it. Let's see. Yeah, we do. Those poor ghosts are attacking. Well, fallen sailors. Our champion will help. Yeah, because without the champion, I don't think that she can win. Maybe our champion will get sacrificed. Will be sacrificed. Doesn't look like. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I stand corrected. He will survive. Alright. And what we have done is put a house and the tavern now that it is time to increase our population. Maybe it would have. It should have been done a lot earlier, but doesn't matter. This iron deposit is no, of no concern to us right now, especially right now. We already have 10 available to us. But what we need is more population for sure. We already have a venery right here. So let's upgrade this forging post. Now we are a thane. Our food situation is way better. We are waiting for the host to start making some archers. And of course, I'm waiting for the wood as well to make a monastery right here because there is the runestone. Everyone that is producing faith in this zone is going to do it 10% better. And there is the volcano as a special tile for this map. It's going to at some point erupt and have uh, molten rocks thrown at some tiles. I'm not going to say what they do. We're under attack by a lot of dragons, that's a problem. Yeah, the lumberjacks will have to... He oh, no, 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 no. They must not die. Yeah, that's a problem. The wildlife is really resistant. Thankfully, she can regen some, help, some HP. So we are going to survive. Yeah, I don't like this. Let's have four monks right now. To really help here. 
Let's try and kill them actually. There are five. Maybe there are too many, maybe they are not. We shall see. And the black one of course is gone now, yeah. And the cobalt are attacking. All of them? Yeah, the lumber checks. Can we hire? Yeah, we can. Let's go do something. He will die with the fort, unfortunately. Yeah, we just lost the lumberjack. Great. And another lumberjack is going to die. If we keep this up. The wildlife has really been difficult to us. Let's get the feeling safe. For the first time, get the vow of obedience. Unfortunately, we have to build this again. Yeah, we lost the lumberjack, and that's bad actually. Oh no, the Miracalfa are attacking because, well, we gave them nothing. Of course we wouldn't. What we have done this past year is actually clear out these tiles completely of enemies. We also colonized this one because the idea is to get to the ancient graveyard and get the monastery right there. But of course we have to first defend against the Mirkalfar that I don't really like. Let's see if the champion gets in any trouble. Apart from that we of course try to burn through our lore. We have our upgraded reliquary. This is a barroom as intended and I finally did the hostelry. All of the adjacent zones as you can see are increased. This one has 6, this one has 7 imagine and we're going to build a house as well so we can finally reach this beautiful number 8. Here we have a 6 again. And we're slowly but surely making our economy way better. We cannot find... probably here there is the enemy, but they are far away and I don't know where is the other AI. Probably it's right here. We will have to go through through the Mirkalfar probably. And I don't really want to do that. I don't want to bother. Yeah, let's improve actually... Yeah, the are axes. We'll need just one more, as you can see. For the Lord. Why are they even attacking again? Here there is basically an army of deer stalkers. However, it doesn't seem to be enough. Wait, I thought that the house... No, it doesn't. I was hoping it would go for the 8, but we have to upgrade it. Let's upgrade it. Yeah, well now we can have up to 45 population. It's really great. As you can see, our livability is on 8. So our workers are efficient by more efficient by 15%. And our population growth is increased by 7.5%. Here there is also an 8 live ability, so if you can check our cathedral, it has plus 15% growth speed bonus due to our prosperity. So we're going to get more people fast. And also the idea is to actually get rid of this iron. No, we cannot do it because we have to, of course, develop the zone. But I do want to get rid of this iron. Because the idea is to make here an iron smithy. Oh no. I really don't like the cobbles. I mean, yeah, I said that we're not going to kill them, but probably we are because they're really aggressive and I don't like this. Yeah, terminate them, come on. 
Don't know why, but it seems like we ran out of wood for some reason. And of course they are attacking us again. And now we're on plus one, everything is fine. Yeah, they try to attack, but basically they do our job way easier than it should be. Yeah, let's conquer. Kick them out. Heal a little bit and attack. We have now two reliquaries. This one probably has a plus 20% buff in faith production. We are really fast now with our faith. Yeah, it does say plus 19 now, but it was saying plus six, 26. Okay, now it's plus 32. That everyone is healthy. We can even, of course, increase the life ability in this zone and have even more guys working there. Yeah, it's going to be really fast now. I know that faith winning is not the fastest one but it's the most relaxing one that's for sure just sit there and do some stuff of course but mostly you just sit tight yeah they have to fight faster no we lost the champion Wait, is it the only cobalt? Yes, it is. Just kill this cobalt. Thank you. Cobalt assassination 101. Yeah, unfortunately, we did lose our champion. I didn't want this to happen. Getting beaten to death by monks. This is what happens to the Mirkalfa right here. There are so many. And so the swamps of death end with the death of the final golem. The divine right of kings is ours. Of course you can see the map, I really like this map, there are some other games that have this map actually like Civilization 5 at the end, you can see the whole map being colonized and eventually getting globed up by the cities that have been founded, however in the Civilization 6 series they, they didn't have it for some reason, I don't know why they decided to not add it, but anyway Probably the AI had some troubles, also this specific type of map with a volcano in the middle of the map actually makes it really difficult for the different players to communicate with each other. As you can see there are lots of swamps here that not only the AI but also me I didn't find any real reason to expand to. and try and reach their zone. I can see that the yellow guy had some serious trouble with the white life and he almost lost probably but doesn't really matter. We were really far away with our double reliquaries on the specific tiles that have the faith production bonuses so there was no way for them to catch up to us although now I can see that the green player had three tiles of this specific type but they are the viking clan so maybe they would be able to catch up to us but they didn't 
I really think that the Clan of the Lion is really strong with the Faith production. It may be even better than the Clan of the Boar. And they are also oriented towards fighting, so it's really difficult if you if they decide to turtle up to defeat them. So anyways, that was Swamps of Death. I know the type of winning because they have every single victory available and as I said in the beginning, having less building slots doesn't really affect the Clan of the Lion as you already saw. We didn't have uh, much trouble with it. I have played this specific mission with a Viking clan. It's way harder than it is with this specific one. And now we have our eyes set upon the Vikings glory. Where we will get the bonus of our monasteries counting as military camps and the paladins being able to receive a military upgrade. This will be really interesting as a bonus. I have no idea what the special rules are, although I can already see them, but it doesn't matter because this is for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider hitting that like button or, that, or subscribing into the channel. Right now we are continuing with our conquest game mode as a Clan of the Lion in Northgard and after that we are going to go back to a city building or a city management, let's call it, game type of game. So in any case, I hope that I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a nice night.